the seventh day in the trial of Daryl Brooks, another day of evidence and testimony from witnesses. So let's get to Chanley Painter with our partners at Court TV. She's been joining us live since the trial kicked off. Chanley, thanks so much for your time once again this afternoon. I was struck by just some heartbreaking testimony that we heard today. Victims have been on the stand. What was it like in the courtroom today? It has been the most difficult day inside the courtroom. We had the coach and the president of the Waukesha Blazers youth baseball team on the stand and then the dance instructors for the extreme dance team. These are children who were celebrating the holidays, walking in the parade, and this jury having to watch not one but multiple videos from different angles of the red SUV seemingly speeding through the formation of the children and and inside the courtroom, it was so heavy at one point that a couple of jurors had to grab tissues and were wiping tears away, especially in a key moment, a video that showed one of those extreme dance uh, preteens who it was like children flying everywhere. Uh, it was difficult to watch and we could see her on the ground. Uh, that's really when the gallery reacted. It was the most emotional time I've sensed inside the courtroom because members of the gallery were sobbing uncontrollably and comforting each other. It's been really heavy and difficult for everyone to watch this evidence, but it's so necessary in the prosecutor's case to prove what happened, how it happened, and then they're, of course, at the end of their case, going to point the finger at the man in the courtroom. Let's talk about uh, the cross-examination strategy by Brooks here. Are you able to see a strategy in the way uh, he's asking questions and, and the questions he's asking. It seems as though he has some standard questions because if you listen to the cross-examination of several of the witnesses, he repeats a lot of the same similar questions. He talks about the windows being tinted on the red SUV. He talks about looking at news media before identifying certain a testimony. He takes a police statement or report and tries to question a witness about that. He also has some odd questions that really do seem to be getting under the judge's skin and the prosecutor about about the sovereign citizen type of line of questioning that's an illegitimate uh, defense, but she keeps telling him that. He keeps repeatedly asking about the plaintiff in the case. Sometimes it annoys the witnesses as well. Uh, but a lot of the cross-examinations are so elongated that you can really tell on the jurors' faces that it's weighing on them. They get frustrated, a little bit annoyed at the pace of that. And under the statute here, of course, the judge is able to uh, prevent a waste of time under 906.11, so a lot of times she will give them a warning and he will conclude his cross-examination. But it's a strategy that may not be working in his favor, especially when he replays a lot of those graphic videos across. That's not something you would really traditionally see a defense attorney type uh, do at all. Chanley Painter with Court TV inside the media room at the Waukesha County Courthouse. Chanley, thanks for your time and your expertise as always. TMJ4 News is streaming the Brooks trial live each day at TMJ4.com. You can also check it out through our free TMJ4 News app.